Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys Marvel 1-6 scale figure unboxing and review. Now today we are taking a look at Captain Carter based off her appearance in the Disney Plus animated series What If. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They do have installment plans and a reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon and join button so you're notified as soon as a brand new review goes live on the channel. As for the box art, I really like it. It looks like these images, the various vignettes from the different episodes of What If were ripped directly from the show. That works perfectly fine with me. Up front, this cartoon-style image of Captain Carter. We also have T'Challa Star-Lord and the Hydra Stomper. Hot Toys, don't just tease us with that T'Challa. Please, make it happen. On the side of the box, Killmonger, Doctor Strange and the Watcher. Then on the back, all of the warnings and legal info. Now you can slide off the top cover for a preview, but as you all know, we're not here for previews. We're here to review the actual figure. Will she work alongside your live-action Captain America figures? I don't know, but don't worry. We'll definitely find out. I also have the third party more realistic looking Peggy Carter head sculpt from the JX Toys figure and hopefully that will fit on this body then potentially you can use this figure in your Multiverse of Madness collection. First in hand impressions, yeah pretty positive. What we are going to do now though is get all of her accessories laid out in the light box, take a closer look and everything she comes with. Starting off with the display base first, it's the hexagonal Hot Toys style. Up top we've got Captain Carter's shield and a What If logo. We also have a broken multiverse in the background with the various shards and a bunch of different colours. Is that the broken multiverse from Loki? I don't know. Is it the broken multiverse from No Way Home? Also, I don't know, but Probably more likely, it's the broken multiverse from What If. Marvel really needs to keep on top of the broken multiverses. Up front, Captain Carter. Then up top, a regular crotch grabber. This being Captain Carter, she of course comes with her shield. I love the colour. It's not super vibrant, but it's kind of more muted with the darker blue and red. The Union Jack front and centre. It's also nice and metallic. On the back, we do have the usual suspects for the clips. They do feel a little fiddly, just make sure when you're popping them on, they lock in position nice and securely. Why am I talking about these two things together? I'm not really sure, but we get this S-Bend clip that you use to hook the shield onto her back. You'll see that a little bit later. We also get this alternative hairpiece with a magnet and multiple pegs that plugs in to kind of make it look like her hair is swooshing in the wind and probably give you some more articulation in the neck as well. As for weaponry, we get the big honking sword and her pistol. The sword is painted in a lighter metallic gunmetal, gold and black for the hilt, and it looks very animated inspired. What do I mean by saying that? Well, this pistol kind of looks a lot more realistic. There's silver chipping, there's a ton of texture for the grip, plus you can remove the magazine with some painted bullet detail. So, I don't know what Hot Toys are going for here. Are they going for the super animated look? Or for something a little bit more realistic? Then again, maybe it's a mix of both, because the gloves are really detailed. There's this leather grain texture, there's some dry brushing and some washers in the crevices, plus some painted silver buckles. Once again, these could pass as real 1-6 scale leather gloves. What we are going to do now though, is get Captain Carter herself out here. Standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. So far, so good. She cuts a very mean silhouette thanks to the broad shoulders and the tapered waist. She's also relatively muscular on a brand new female body. More on that in just a second. The outfit is nicely tailored. It's very punchy and vibrant. Plus, the head sculpt is super unique. We don't often get animated characters in 1-6 scale format from Hot Toys, but 
If you want something that's going to stand out in the collection, then you might be looking at it right here. Up close and personal, kicking things off with the head sculpt first. I really like it, but... I can already tell, it's not gonna be for everyone. I've seen the comments online, people are saying, Hey look, it's a giant Marvel Legends. I totally understand where you're coming from. All of the stuff that Hot Toys usually do to set their head sculpts over the top. The skin texture, the likeness to a real life person, the detail. None of that's really here. It's very smooth, which is accurate to what if, but... If you were expecting something that actually looks like Hayley Atwell, then unfortunately, you're kind of SOL. Now, don't worry, we will try that head sculpt on the body in just a second. We do have the swap out hairpiece, which is relatively simple to do. You simply remove the existing one, then plug this one in. It's flowing back, so maybe Captain Carter is riding on the back of the Hydra Stomper, or she's mid-action pose. Totally up to you, but yeah, you have two options. Wait a minute, is it just me, or does this look really cool? I didn't think this was going to work. I thought, no way, this head sculpt won't fit on the body, it'll look stupid, but I don't think it does. I'm now tempted to display this body wearing this head sculpt permanently in the collection. Let me know what you think of this mashup down in the comments below. Just like the Hot Toys Captain America figures, you do have that little hook piece that you can slide the shield onto to holster it on her back. And the coolest thing is, you can slide the sword in, so if you want to, you can holster both of them. Or if you don't want them there, you can simply remove them, remove the clip, and now you can see the fully textured rubbery plastic harness and unfortunately the plastic buckle. Back in the day Hot Toys always used to do die cast buckles on cap figures but these used to be pleather. I'm glad they're not. As I said, rubbery plastic. I'm fairly certain this is a custom body specifically made for Captain Carter as it should be. She's gone through the super soldier serum and I don't know how many big muscular female bodies Hot Toys had lying around before this, so yeah, make a new one. The shoulders are nice and broad, the biceps are big, the thighs are relatively big too, and there is no padding in the legs or the arms, it's all sculpted underneath the suit. She does have some padding in the abs section and the torso, but even that is fairly minimal. Now the suit is all fabric, and you all know what that means. Oh yes, it's going to be great for posing. No worries about creasing, no worries about damage and catching in the joints, it feels nice and sturdy. The colours are suitably vibrant, just like the show. Her shoulder pads are separate sculpted rubbery pieces of plastic and they bulk her out just a little. She also has a fully sculpted rubbery plastic belt. Thank goodness, no pleather. I wasn't expecting to see this much texture and shading and detail on the boots and the gloves and the belt and the harness. I thought it would be all smooth just like the head sculpt, but if you wanted to use that realistic head sculpt, then I don't reckon this looks too out of place thanks to all that texture and the fabric suit. Her pants look like there's some padding, but there's not. It's all just that sculpted body filling out the suit. You do have some silver studs glued onto the outfit, plus some bright red bands around her knees. The boots are a split-cut boot design, thank you Hot Toys. I like the bright silver buckles, plus the dry brushing. Unfortunately though, on the underside, they're completely smooth, there's no sculpted in tread. For a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have Captain Carter on the left and Zombie Hunter Spidey. Luckily, they're both from What If, and I reckon the aesthetics work really well together. Spidey is a little bit taller than Captain Carter, maybe slightly too tall in my opinion, but I know he's supposed to be older in the show. Nevertheless, I'm glad that I now have another animated Marvel figure by Hot Toys, so Zombie Hunter Spidey's no longer on his own. Going over articulation, do bear in mind this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Starting off with the head sculpt, it's on a fixed neck with a double ball peg, looking forward to there. Looking back to there, swivel and pivot side to side. Now if you're thinking, hey, 
Doesn't she have an alternate magnetic hairpiece that affords her a greater range of motion? Good memory, friend. Yes, she does. And it absolutely works. Going forward and back, slightly more. Swivel and a ton more pivot side to side. The arms will go up to there. They will go forward and back. Butterfly joint at the shoulder that also hinges up and down. Swivel at the bicep. Double bend at the elbow going just past 90. Plus a regular 1-6 scale wrist peg. The torso does crunch forward and back, swivel and pivot. The legs will go forward to there, going out to there. Swivel at the upper thigh, double bend at the knee going past 90. Then lastly, a split cut boot design with a hinge and swivel down here for the ankle. Moving on to the three cool and three annoying things. The first annoying thing is the Union Jack. What the hell, Hot Toys? It's an iconic symbol. But no, no, the stitching isn't even. This piece is stitched a lot wider apart than this one. I don't exactly know what went wrong at the Hot Toys factory, but these lines should be even. Unfortunately, they aren't. The second annoying thing, and maybe it's just me, but is her neck a little long? From certain angles, it looks okay, and I understand why it's long. It's so that this hairpiece can sit over the shoulders, but just make the hair a little bit shorter, because as it stands in other poses like this one, it looks a little giraffe necked. The third annoying thing is the inconsistency in the detail. Hot Toys, are we going all out animated with this super smooth aesthetic? Or are we going super realistic with the dry brushing on the pistol and the boots? I don't exactly know what they were going for. Super animated or super realistic, as it stands. It's kind of a mix. The first cool thing is the brand new body. It fills out the suit beautifully. It looks muscular where it needs to, but it's still quite clearly a female body. It's not like they've gone and grabbed a Hot Toys cat body. No, no, this is all new and it's all good. The second cool thing and I roll incoming. I know it's such a cop out, but it's the suit on top of the body. It's so nicely tailored. It hugs the body where it needs to. It's also made of full fabric. So once again, you can go crazy with the posing. No worries when it comes to damage. The third cool thing is the head sculpt. I wanted to show it a little bit of love because earlier we swapped it out and I gushed how good the realistic head sculpt looks, but... No, no, I still really like this one. It looks like the animation, and like I said, the skin texture is there. It's just a little bit more subtle. Plus, the swap-out hair gimmick. It's kind of awesome. Wrapping up on Hot Toys Captain Carter from the Disney Plus animated series Marvel's What If. Not necessarily the most popular MCU thing out there, but not the least popular either. Is that how this figure is going to be received? Yeah, maybe. She's a pretty good figure, but it's an animated look. It's a very different take on Captain America. Is it going to be for everyone? I don't know, but turns out it's for me. I really like this figure. Starting off with the body, there's not a ton of padding here. Then the outfit on top of it is really vibrant. It's going to help her stand out in the collection. Plus... It's all fabric. As we know, that's a great thing when it comes to posing. However, this figure is very clearly meant to be from the animated series. But why does she have all this realistic detailing? There's texture on the gloves and the boots and the belts and there's weathering on the pistol, but no weathering on the shield and the sword and the head sculpt is really animated. It's a little bit higgledy-piggledy in its approach, but I don't think it ruins this figure. I kind of wish Hot Toys announced a bunch of characters from Season 1 of What If, rather than slowly trickling them out, because we're still waiting on Zombie Cap and Star-Lord T'Challa, but we do have Spidey, Steve the Hydra Stomper, and Ultron. Fingers crossed, they keep this line going. Now, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They do have installment plans and a reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.